everyone, Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to share with you a random home decor haul. It's been a crazy busy week with the kids finishing up school, so my brain is just kind of bleh. So I thought I would just do a classic style haul video for you today. You guys seem to like my last Amazon haul video, so today is kind of just a mishmash of a bunch of different home decor items I found over the past month from Amazon again, also from Wayfair and also from Value Village. So doing a little bit of thrifting. These are things I'm going to be using in projects that I'm working on right now. So there's about, I don't know, five projects that I have on the go that I can't wait to share with you really soon. So all of these are going to be for those projects. So kind of a sneak peek as to what's to come. I'll make sure I leave links in the description box below if you can find these online and I'll try to leave both the Canadian Amazon link and the American Amazon link as well. So let's get started. So starting with Wayfair, I shop at Wayfair Canada uh, for home decor items sometimes. So the first thing I want to show you is this absolutely gorgeous ceiling light. It's copper and it's really, really modern and I'm going to use it for a guest bedroom project I'm working on right now. So that's something that I want to um, vlog about from start to finish here on the channel. And that's one of the reasons I asked you guys in the community tab what sorts of questions you had about decorating a room from start to finish because I want to take you along on the decorating of my guest bedroom. So this was one of the inspiration pieces that I purchased. And I think it's really neat. It's very, very modern, but I love this copper color and I want to show you the next thing that I found at Wayfair. So this was from Wayfair.ca and then the other thing I found was this wall mural so I'll give you a close-up of it but it's this shabby chic really really oversized romantic rose and peony uh, wall mural. You guys know I love roses and peonies, so this was a no-brainer. I'm definitely going uh, feminine and girly with this guest bedroom, which I think is fine for a guest bedroom because it's kind of neat to make it look, you know, sort of romantic and cozy. And I really love the blush pink and the grays in this wall mural, and I really, really can't wait to put it up. And I think it's going to be such a great contrast with this traditional romantic wall mural and that very, very modern geometric light fixture. I think it's going to be a really neat contrast. So, and it's going to be interesting to install this, I think, as well. So I can't wait to put that up. I'll leave the prices for all these in the description box below as well. Um, I do try to get budget-friendly things for my makeovers, uh, but I do splurge on some of the more wow pieces. This was kind of mid-priced, around $200, I believe. So. Uh, it should be fun to put up. I can't wait to show how you guys how this is going to turn out. Okay, so those were my couple of Wayfair items. Now moving on to some Amazon finds. So you might remember in my last Amazon uh, haul video, I purchased a couple of pillowcases that were kind of like a boho fringe. And I did end up buying the matching fringed off-white duvet cover because I thought this would be the perfect set for in that guest bedroom. So it's going to just, I just love the look of white linens in a bedroom, especially a guest bedroom because um, you can clean them really nicely and they're just very, very calming and soothing. And I really, really love this addition of texture for the duvet cover. This is at the bottom of the duvet, so it shouldn't uh, mess with the comfort of the duvet cover. So I think that's gonna look really nice with that light fixture, with that feature wall, and then you know some texture and some softness with this white duvet cover. So can't wait to show you guys how that turns out. Also for the guest bedroom project I'm working on, I got this Amazon Basics uh, sheet set. So it's just a gray stripe, so just very kind of, I think very farmhouse and shabby chic inspired. And that gray is gonna tie in with the gray of that uh, wall mural. So. Very, very simple, great price, and the Amazon Basics collection. They have a whole bunch of different colors and patterns in their Basics sheet set. So I just got a queen for the guest bedroom. Okay, and this wasn't really good decor, but I'm still adding it to the decor category. Another Amazon find. These, This is for my daughters, actually. You guys know they started a YouTube channel, that's why I have that screen back there, that glittery screen. And they love this flip sequin or this mermaid fabric. So this one goes from turquoise to pink. And then this one goes from rose gold to silver. These are around, I believe, $26 Canadian for a yard for this flip sequin fabric. And this is really hard to find locally, so I found it on Amazon. 
and my girls were so excited. So actually today, they're sharing how to make a flip sequin or a mermaid sequin pillow on their YouTube channel, so make sure to check that out. And if you're looking for this type of fabric for projects or for kids' projects, uh, I'm really, really happy with how this looks and feels and the price of it. Okay, so my final Amazon find was this adorable little pineapple. So uh, this is a great segue into the next project I'm working on, um, which is my sister and brother-in-law's vintage industrial modern kitchen in their downtown condo. So if you follow along on my blog, you're already going to have seen this kitchen makeover. I'm going to share it here on my channel soon, but it's gorgeous and it's a really different style than what I usually do, very modern industrial. And we're going to throw them a chic tiki party this coming week. So I wanted to find some like sort of Hawaiian sort of tiki inspired accessories for this party but I wanted to keep them on the chic side so a little bit more subtle than a you know cheesier over-the-top tiki party so I thought this pineapple was really really cute found it on Amazon it's gonna make for a great tabletop decoration for their party so the rest of the stuff I'm gonna show you is from Value Village and I love hitting up a thrift store for parties the first one was this kind of like banana leaf um, tray which I thought would be good for appetizers it was three dollars Canadian I got everything uh, the other day at Value Village for 30% off so I think that would be a chic tiki sort of serving tray also picked up this really cool wooden bowl this would be awesome for appetizers at the party too kind of has that like rustic Hawaiian vibe three bucks 30% off then I found this wooden tray which would also be really fabulous for appetizers at this tiki party as well. This guy was two bucks and it was 30% off. So these were really great steals and I think they're going to be really awesome tiki party decor. And then the final thing I found at Valley Village and my final uh, haul find for today were these little rattan cup holders with glasses inside. So I mean I couldn't decide if these were like just horribly early 90s or, or not but even so. I thought these were so great for the tiki party because they have that rattan kind of beachy look and I thought they would just be great props or to actually you know use them for drinks and super cheap I believe these were four dollars for a set of four and I got them 30% off so you really can't go wrong for a little party pop props uh, for that price so that's my home decor haul for today I hope you enjoyed that let me know in the comments below which of these items was your favorite again I'll leave all the links for everything and the prices in the description box below if you're curious or you want to buy them as well and make sure to stay tuned for my guest bedroom from start to finish that makeover stay tuned for this chic tiki party on a budget and my sister and brother-in-law's amazing kitchen makeover I'll also leave a link to the blog post about that in my description box below and check Check out my daughter's video today on how to make a flip sequin or a mermaid sequin pillow out of that amazing flip sequin fabric. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!